Hi everyone. I'm Cindy Vinson, I'm the transition specialist um, in the admissions department. And today I want to share with you how you can explore different programs and resources in the Frederick Community College website. I want to start um, explaining what is considered credit and non-credit programs at FCC. Um, for example, credit programs um, include an associate's degree or certificate, and those credits can be transferred to a four-year institution for you to work um, towards a bachelor's degree. But non-credit courses or continuing education courses um, our workforce um, development um, is an option for students who want to enter the workforce after completing the program. Um, these short-term training programs can be completed between um, six to nine months as a full-time student, but the credits um, will not transfer to a four-year school. So let's start... Um, with different options um, for the credit programs. If you click over here um, on the programs, you can review different fields and explore all careers that FCC offers. But then if you notice, um, you're going to see two keywords that is going to be degree and certificate. So those words are a sign of credit programs. That mean you can earn a degree or certificate and in the future, you will be able to transfer the credits to different institutions. That is only if you are doing a degree or a certificate. Now, um, when you go here on the admissions, um, you can apply to the credit programs to pursue a degree or certificate. You can go under the admissions website and then you can see the enrollment steps. And what you have to do first, how it says over here is apply to FCC. So you click and then you can go and complete the online application over here. To begin the application, um, they're going to ask you personal information. And then after you complete the application, then after <clears throat> two business days, um, you will be receive a um, student ID number. With a student ID number that you receive after completing the application, you will be able to complete the other steps. So you go back. You will receive a second option that it says seek for financial support. When you seek for financial support, you can review all the financial services that they are available for you. And one of the most popular, when you click over financial aid, is apply for financial aid. And you're going to see FAFSA and MINSFA. Each one has different requirements in order to be eligible for aid. Make sure to complete the application for the aid you are qualified for. Now, if the options over here are not for you or you don't qualify for the options over here, I highly suggest that you reach out to a financial aid representative. If you are undocumented in the United States, please reach out financial aid representatives so they can review different ways and see other solutions for you um, to help you with financial aid. 
remember that all students um, that they are interested in take credit and no credit programs can apply for scholarships. So if we go back, you can review here grants and scholarships. You click over here. You can review the deadlines for scholarships. And then you can go to FCC Foundation Scholarships. If you are going to enroll in a degree or certificate, so that means their credit programs, you probably are going to apply for the scholarships over here using the link over here, okay? But if you are planning to apply for continuing education courses or non-credit courses, then you will, you will be able to apply over here. Now getting back to the, to the enrollment steps, let's go back. You always can find enrollment steps on their admissions. And you scroll down and then um, you will be need to do a step three. So step three is about placement testing and send transcripts. So make sure you complete your placement test. Um, how you can um, do your placement test, you can go ahead and book an appointment um, over here on their testing center. And then you can book an appointment using this link, self-register for an appointment. Um, now, if you um, took classes in another institution, um, you can send um, the transcripts to FCC. Or if you think that you have any assumptions, um, you always can talk with an academic advisor um, to review uh, your case with an academic advisor and see if you will need to do or not um, do a placement test. So how do you meet an academic advisor? If you go back, you will be see a step number four that it says complete new student orientation and see advisor. So for meet with an academic advisor, um, it is different options. Um, you can schedule an appointment over here. So if you click here, you're going to be able to schedule an appointment. Or you also can walk in. So the academic advisors are located at Jefferson Hall on the second floor. Um, you can reach out academic advising um, and you can walk in and they can help you in person. Or you can go over here where it says resources and under career academic planning services, you can see an option that it says drop-in advising. That is drop-in online. So if you click the icon of the question mark here, you see that um, advising online is available um, Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Um, the times can change, so always review the times before you click drop in advising. Now, if you are not sure um, what is the right choice for you, if you are not sure if you want to take credit or non-credit programs or courses, please meet an academic advisor. It's free and you can discuss um, your goals to get the right advice before um, you enroll in any of the programs. Now, if you go back to the enrollment steps, um, you're going to see that the remaining steps are registered for classes, 
um, complete your payment, um, buy your books and attend your classes. The steps over here are most likely to use for credit programs. So for do a degree or a certificate. Now, if you decide that you wanna take continuing education courses, then um, you will need to go ahead and click here where it says continuing education. Over here, um, you can review the different courses for non-credit programs. That means they are courses for personal enrichment or to help you to improve um, a skill in another area. For those credit, uh, for those non-credit courses, you can apply using the link here that it says login and create an account. When you click the link, um, you will be able to create a profile that is similar to the application that I showed before. So you click here, um, create new profile. You have to provide personal information, um, but for the continuing education courses, I highly suggest that you always reach out to a um, staff member. Um, that is the phone number. Um, the location is again, is at Jefferson Hall. So they can help you and advise you um, what, what are the prerequisites for the courses, how, what placement test or score you need, what financial services are available for the courses that you are interested in. Um, so they always can help you. You can register for the courses, um, for the courses over here. Um, you can register online. Uh, for some of them, but other ones you will be need to register in person at Jefferson Hall. Um, the same time that you register for the courses, you can make the payment and they can help you um, to seek for scholarships or financial aid services available for the courses that you are interested in. Um, I hope, okay, I hope the, the video today was helpful. Um, please reach out to me if you know if you get lost doing one um, one of the steps, or if you have further questions about any of the programs or credit programs or no credit uh, courses. Please um, reach out to me. I can help you anytime. Uh, my information is located in the email that you received today. Um, remember, my name is Cindy Vinson, and my office is at Jefferson Hall in the first floor. Thank you for your time today.